Good morning everyone and welcome to MK Tech. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's vlog, we're gonna be talking about that car right there. That car right there. And let's start with the cold start. Okay guys, here she is. I actually got a name for her and I need you guys help to decide which one I should go with. It's either Monica or Diana. Comment below, let me know which one you guys think matches this car the best. Quick weekly update. Uh, my conversion season has started and uh, I'm actually in the process of starting my first conversion of the year. I'll show you. Right here. Look at that. I had to do that. <laughs> so um, saying all that, I got to prepare my board. This is still from last year. I haven't messed with it. This is usually how I keep track of everything. And this is my working area here. So obviously I need to clean up a few things. <laughs> That's kind of obvious. Still have my B&W parts right here. And while we are at this right now, I want to show you where I'm at with the B&W real quick, guys. I can't wait to get it done. It just, everything's one step at a time. Hello, Horst. How are you? <laughs> nice. Okay. Here we are. Here's the E30. So you can see that I got some spots primed out. As you've seen the other videos, I was bonding it. And I just used a can primer just to cover up the bare metal parts so it won't rust. And hopefully sometime this week, maybe next week, you can see I already sponge sanded everything. I will continue to finish up the two fenders. I need to still sand them down. And finally, lay a nice thick coat of primer on it. So, this vehicle is coming to our show shortly. I will be using this vehicle for content and driving. But I'm so happy and praise God that I finally got the Z out. And we will start driving the Z around. And I'm going to be basing my content right now from the Z. So uh, later on today I want to put it on the lift and I'll show you the underneath setup, the exhaust and what is my plan with this car. So we'll go over that shortly. Everyone meet Craig. Craig say hi. Hello. <laughs> I, I see that you have been invited to watch Mike fix my car. <laughs> this will be my personal vehicle when it's done. So <laughs> I'll let him get back to it. Thank you Craig. Okay, this is my project list, and this is the things that I need done for both cars. For the 370Z, new clutch slave cylinder, alignment, new front tires, rear brake pads, and rotor. rotors need to be churned. E30, BMW, 1987. We need to find a rear bumper assembly, fix the front bumper, and figure out what we're going to do. Either buy a new front bumper or fix the original. Uh, then primer next. That's how far we're going to get. These are the steps. Need money for that. Need to order that. This is about 300 bucks right here. But what's more critical right now, I need to make sure to drive my Z. So let's finish the this right here. This is uh, if I want to go with the OEM uh, clutch sleeve cylinder, it's $204. If I want to go with a heavy duty aftermarket from Z1, it's going to be $325. I need to make the decision ASAP. Alignment is next because I want my steering wheel to be straight and the car is pulling slightly to the right. And then the a new front tires. So these things, these things right here, this project is more critical because it's my daily right now. Just 
I'm gonna get you guys a closer look underneath. So this is what I got going on here. So if I change the white pipe right here, if it will fit, it'll be nice. And then I have a, a muffler delete right here, which is super cool. Then I have a custom, oh wow, look at this. I didn't even see that part right here, that's cool. I don't even know what brand it is or anything, it was on the car already, so. And then the springs are also lowered, as you can see that, and I'm not sure also what brand it is. So that's been changed out too. So the car is dropped. See the side right here. So I'm gonna try to fit in the white pipe and see how it's gonna work out. I'm not sure about the old down pipes yet. I'm still thinking. This is the white pipe I'm gonna install right here. Not sure if I'm gonna install the down pipes because of the rattling noise on the inside of one of the down pipes. Uh, I'm pretty sure if it makes noise right now as I shake it, it's gonna rattle while I drive. So I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the nuts. I sprayed some WD-40 on them. So uh, this is really rusted. Hopefully they'll help us out. By the way, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Uh, in my content, as you've seen from the past vlogs, I do personal vlogs, as personal life. Uh, anything you guys see is my everyday lifestyle. I work on compressed natural gas cars, I work on high performance cars, and I also do restoration. So we got the BMW 30, we'll get back to that project, uh, and we'll go back to the 1967 also. So I'm really hyped for this year, and I'm excited to grow this channel uh, into a big channel so guys I'm very happy on for doing this so follow me on uh, YouTube subscribe and like let's get back to work it is it is 14 millimeter let's see if we can crank it crank it loose I like to use my Milwaukee let's see if we can get this thing loose Like I said, yeah, right. Okay, I think this was gonna work. Oh, jeez. One. Two. I wonder how it's gonna sound. You guys heard a cold start this morning. We'll see how much difference it's gonna be. Three. Four. Excellent. They're loose, so good news. Check out this torque wrench. Snap on, awesome torque wrench. Three eighths, it's very super uh, high, high tech. Super high tech, there you go. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I'm not gonna install the down pipes because I know the rattling in one of the down pipes, the little, whatever's loose inside, the, the debris inside, is gonna rattle and I'm gonna get annoyed by it. So I'm gonna look for some new down pipes to buy. Plus the thread is messed up, uh, it's stripped. The thread is stripped pretty badly in one of the down pipes and I also don't want to ruin my sensor, my O2 sensor when I install it. One. Second one. And that's two. This is the difference here. We got the OEM one. You can see here it's been damaged too right here. And we got this one right here. All right, let's put it back on. Let's put this one on. Put it on right here. See that? It looks great. The only problem I'm running into so far is there's no space right between here. But I have not tightened that side yet right here. So I'm gonna tighten this up in the back and see what it's gonna look like and then we'll see, make sure we clear this bracket. Cause this one, this side seems to be clearing. I gotta make sure it doesn't, this is a transmission mount. I don't wanna, you can't remove it. So I wanna make sure it doesn't, doesn't hit against the transmission mount. 
I didn't tell you guys that where I got this white pipe. This is my 350Z white pipe. I got it back in 2007 or 8. <laughs> works on a 370. Hoping it works. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it up. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot, see what it sounds like. How did that sound? Sounds pretty sick. Now I'm gonna just make sure to see if it's gonna rattle when I'll drive. So I'm leaving it on. I'm gonna take it for a spin and we'll see how it works out. Uh, one more time, let's go over what we did. You guys see the new white pipe that I, we just installed? Sounds sick. Two areas are touching here and, and here. But I'm gonna have to lift the car up again because uh, there's a possibility that I might have to change my slave clutch cylinder and uh, have to change my oil too. So I'll be lifting that up again, trying to figure out how I can bypass that so I won't be touching that bracket. But it is what it is. All right, let's get the car down. Here we go. Yeah, it is loud. Sounds good. Only one time. Well guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Uh, anything you guys wanna uh, see me do or uh, anything you wanna see on the Z, any questions, please comment below. I'd love to answer if I can. I'm uh, really having the clutch issue right now, which uh, I'm trying to figure out if I need to change my slave cylinder clutch slave cylinder and I, I have the symptoms here that I'm having I've been bleeding it all kinds of stuff I'll touch that touch up with that in the next vlog but however you guys have a wonderful rest of the day uh, enjoy comment below please talk to you guys soon peace out viewers subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter